Hello, everyone. Welcome to Monday Yoga. Give just a few more seconds. <clears throat> Grab the neck or allow the next few people to kind of jump on here. And then we are going to start in a standing position. So if you are seated, let's go ahead and stand. And we are just going to get started with our classical sun salutes. Um, these might seem kind of repetitious or um, like we do them every single time, but these are the perfect way, in my opinion, to get your body warmed up. So we'll just do a few and then we'll move on with our practice today. Okay, here we go. Big toes to touch, heels are a sliver apart. Stand up really tall. I want you to ground down through your feet. So almost like your feet are a tree stump and you're just really grounding, you're growing those roots into the ground, creating a really strong foundation for yourself. Good. We'll start to engage through the legs, feel them really strong. Press the palms together into the chest. Take a deep breath in, lift the crown of the head towards the ceiling. On your exhale, drop the shoulders. Now I want you to really focus on nostril breathing throughout class today. See if you can really make that connection all the way through this whole hour. Good. Good, one more deep breath. And let it go. And let's go ahead and get started. Arms forward and up. Maybe a little back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Right foot steps all the way back. Knee down. Take a deep inhale. Let the hips fall towards the mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Pull the elbows back. Lift the thighs. Exhale, down dog. Left foot steps between the hands, right knee down. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold, toes to touch. Inhale, arms forward and up. <clears throat> Exhale, heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Left foot steps all the way back, knee down. Take your time. Inhale, lift the chest, drop the hips. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower, take your time. Inhale, cobra, pull the elbows together and back. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps between the hands, left knee down, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, toes to touch. Inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold, right foot back, knee down. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Left foot forward. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Left foot back this time. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps through. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Right foot all the way back. Inhale. 
Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Middle to no weight. Exhale, down dog. Left foot steps. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold, left foot all the way back. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold, right foot back. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Left foot steps. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold, left foot back. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold, right foot back. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Left foot steps, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold, left foot all the way back. Knee down, inhale. Exhale, down dog, press your chest back. Inhale, plank, exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra, exhale, down dog. Right foot steps, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, exhale, heart center. Good, last time through. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold, right foot back. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Left foot steps, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Left foot back. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, heart center. Good. Take a moment here. Feel your heart beating in your chest. So 
focus on the strength that you've just built in your body. Breathing in and out of your nose. Control your breath. Don't let it control you. Good. Inhale, arms out and up. Mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Let your forehead just fall towards your knees. Bend your knees a lot. Let your chest rest on your thighs. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, let's take a seat. Roll all the way onto your back. And hug your knees in towards your chest, rocking side to side. <clears throat> Good. Just massage that low back into the mat. Good. And let's go ahead and extend the feet up above. Start to feel your quadriceps turn on, feel your core turn on. Good, holding here. Let's go ahead and reach the fingertips towards the toes. So almost like you're pulling your toes towards your face and you're reaching your fingertips towards your toes. Good. Now let's point your toes towards the ceiling. Almost think about lifting your lower hips or your hips off the mat. And then reach the fingertips, lift. And then we're just gonna slightly come into a V shape. So I don't want you to feel any pain in your low back or in your neck. So slowly reach the fingertips back, reach the toes, bring your body into the shape of a V. v. Keep the shoulders lifted. Good. Squeeze that core. Start to feel everything really turn on. Breathe. We're going to go five. Breathe. Inhale as you open. Exhale as you bring the hands to the feet. Three. Two. And one, good. Drop those feet, wall to wall stretch. Point the toes, good, holding here. Reach, reach, reach in opposite direction. Great job, you guys. And then begin to rock and roll forward and back. Good. Keep rocking. Good. And then we're gonna come up into a modified boat. So you're gonna pull the knees in towards the chest. The toes are just hovering on top of the mat. So they're not touching the mat, they're just hovering. And instead of rounding into the spine, I want you to pull the chest up, sit up real tall. Good. Holding here, I'm just gonna scoop my mat. Good. Holding here. And then slowly begin to bring the shins so that they're parallel with your mat. So it doesn't matter if you point your toes or you flex them, just pick one. And then you're gonna reach the fingertips towards the feet coming into Navasana boat pose. Throw some Sanskrit at you today. <laughs> and then we're gonna cross at the ankles, plant the palms, step the feet back to a high plank. Let's go ahead and hold here. Make sure your wrists are directly underneath your shoulders. Holding here. Now let's come on to your right hand. We're gonna bring your right hand to your foundation. You can stack the feet if that feels good. And then I want you to send the hips up so you're creating an arch here. Good. Holding here. Squeeze that core. Exhale, come back to a high plank. Good. And then we're gonna switch over to the left. Stack those feet, lift those hips, create that arc. Breathe. Micro bend in that elbow. Do not lock out your bottom elbow. Use your muscles, not your joints. Exhale, plank. 
Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, we're gonna come into our first yoga push up. So you're gonna lower halfway down. Inhale, cobra. Good, lift the chest, lift the knees, breathe. Exhale, downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal out those legs. Take a moment here to get settled. Drive your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Feel free to explore here. Let your body just move. Press your chest, open up through the underarms. Good. And finding stillness in your downward facing dog. Inhale back to a high plank, holding here. Pull your navel in towards your spine. And then come onto your right hand and challenge yourself. Let's try lifting that top leg. Breathe, lower, high plank. Squeeze that core, drop those hips. Let's come over to your left side and then lift that right leg. Challenge yourself. If you can't, that's okay, but just try. Exhale, high plank. Move through one more yoga push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Let your head fall between your arms. Bend your knees, drive your tailbone up. Press your chest towards your thighs. Good. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees, take a nice big jump. Your feet can land between your hands or on the outside. It's your choice. And we're gonna meet in a forward fold. So if you landed with your feet on the outside of your hands, take a moment, walk your feet together. Forward fold, bend your knees. Shake your head, yes. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Remember, we're creating that shelf. You should feel all these muscles in your back hard as rocks because you're using all those muscles to lift the chest and then pull the shoulder blades together. Good, one more breath. Exhale, forward fold. Good, get those muscles in the back fired, fired up. And on your inhale, round up like a rag doll. If you get a little dizzy, just take a second. That can be very normal. Okay, so first, we are going to come into one-legged Tadasana. I want you to grab your right knee, pull it up towards your belly. So thigh into belly, lift your chest, give it a really nice pull. Thigh to belly, stand tall. One more breath. And then we're gonna come into one-legged Tadasana. So hands can come here or out to the side. It's your choice. We're gonna slowly bring the right leg back. And then we're gonna bend in to the left knee and I want you to bring your right knee to tap behind your left knee. So you're gonna stand and then you're going to tap right knee to the back of your left and then stand. Good, we're gonna do that 10 times. Here we go, that was two. Here's three, bend deep. Here's four. Almost feel like you're bringing that right knee to the outside of this left leg. Is that five? Here we go, there's six. Good, working on stability in those hips. There's seven. Eight, nine, last one, and 10. We're gonna pulse here, just little pulses. 
One, two, three, whoop, four, and five. Come on all the way up, straighten that right leg. If you can, hold it out in front of you. It's okay if that leg's bent. Find your balance. And then we're gonna teeter-totter to a standing split. Good. So notice that the hip isn't open. The right hip is squared down to the mat. So your body technically kind of looks like the shape of a T in your lower half. You're using your right hamstring to lift that right leg. Good. Holding here. One more breath. And exhale, forward fold. Let's do a squat and curl. Come up onto those toes. Drop your forehead to your knees, your chin to your chest. Let that chin come all the way to your chest. Feel a really nice lengthening up at the back of the neck. Lift those heels up, spread those toes. Good. Good. And then slowly lift those hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Let's go ahead and shift your weight into that right leg. Let's pull that left knee up and in. Good. Holding here. Pull that thigh into lower belly. Stand up really tall. Find that balance. And then slowly, we're gonna come into one-legged mountain. Bring that left leg parallel with the floor. Then we're gonna send the left leg back behind us. And then we're gonna bring the left knee to the outside or behind that right leg, good. There's one, we're moving through 10. Two. Three. Four, bend down. I think this is five, I lost count. <laughs> we'll call that five, we'll call this six. Bend down, use that hip. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to pulse here, little pulses. Two, three, four, five, standing straight. Lift that leg straight out if you can. It's a tough one. And then we're gonna teeter-totter all the way to a standing splits. Now remember, again, my left leg is not open. The left hip is squared down to the mat. And you're using your left hamstring to lift the back leg. Okay, so if you're here, use that hamstring, lift it up. Breathe. And exhale, forward fold. Good, let that forehead come to the knees. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, step those feet back, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Let's move through your yoga push up. Actually, yep, let's move through your yoga push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Nice job, guys. Inhale, high plank. Let's roll over to the right hand again. Let's lift that left leg. You can do it. Lift that left leg. Exhale without putting that left foot down. You're going to send it all the way over. Falling star. We've done this before. I'm going to show you one more time if you didn't get it. You're from here. Without putting that left foot down, you're gonna send it all the way over. 
And then we're just gonna tap those hips. Here we go, one, two, three, four, and five. High plank, down dog, take a break. Give those shoulders a rest. Inhale, high plank. Let's go. Left side. Lift that arm and lift that leg. You can do it. Exhale, don't drop that foot. Send it all the way under. Left arms up this time and then we're going to drop those hips. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, down dog. Great job, guys. Inhale, high plank. Let's move through your vinyasa, your yoga push-up. Good, exhale, down dog. Ooh. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step it all the way through. All 10 toes are pointing forward. Now look down, make sure your feet are not on a tightrope, they're on a train track. So what that means is that your, hip, your feet should be hip distance apart. If they're not, if they're not on a train track, just scoot your right foot over. Good, drop those hips. Breathe. Inhale, high lunge, lift those arms over your head. Breathe. Catch your breath. Great job, you guys. Pull that left hip forward, that right hip back, bend deep into that right knee. And then warrior two. Great job. Opening up in opposite direction. I'm gonna come take a look. <clears throat> Keep bending into that right knee. You guys are looking really good. Warrior two, drop those shoulders away from the ears, bend deep into that right knee. Now pull your right knee open so you can see your right big toe. Good. Nice job, guys. One more breath. <sighs> Inhale, reverse your warrior back hand to back thigh. Now remember, this hand is just here for support. Keep that depth in that front knee. One more deep inhale, exhale, extended side angle. Now, I think we've done the wrap here before, and if you feel like you wanna come into the bind, maybe a half bind, maybe you wanna stick your hand through this little hole here, or you wanna reach under and grab for those fingertips. It's your choice, or you can stay here. Doesn't matter. Holding here. One more deep breath. And on your exhale, you're gonna plant the palms and then we're gonna come into a standing wide leg forward fold. So remember your toes are slightly turned in towards one another. Your um, the outside of your feet are parallel with the short edge of your mat. You have a micro bend in your knee. Take a deep inhale, lengthen the spine. And with that length in your spine, on your exhale, fold forward. Good. Remember, pull the shoulders away from the ears and just let the weight of your torso fall. Just let it hang, let it deepen your stretch. Remember, micro bend in the knees. This can be a lot in the hamstrings, so be gentle. Listen to your body. Yoga is about finding your edge. It's not about white knuckling it through the entire class. Good. Keep breathing. Good, two more breaths here. Maybe you notice you're softening, you're deepening.
Great job. Come on up, inhale halfway, and then bend your knees, lift your chest. Good. So from here, your feet are still wide. We're just gonna come down to one side to the right, and then we're going to shift over to the left. So you're lunging, you're sitting your hips really far back, and you're just switching side to side. So sink those hips back, lean back, keep your back nice and strong and straight. Good. We'll do two more. Last one, come back to center. Take a deep inhale, lengthen your chest, and on your exhale, fold forward. Good. Your legs should be feeling really good right about now. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let's walk your hands towards your right foot. Turn all 10 toes forward. Plant your left hand on the inside of your right foot and twist your right arm towards the ceiling. Twist your chest. Good, use that bottom hand to press into the mat to twist your shoulders open. You want your shoulders stacked on top of one another. Good, one more breath. And on your exhale, plant your palms, step your feet back, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, move through your yoga push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Breathe, good. Inhale, your left leg nice and high. Exhale, step it all the way through. All 10 toes are facing the top of your mat. They're all pointing forward. Now remember, you're not walking a tightrope. Make sure your feet are on train tracks. Again, hip distance apart. Open up those hips. And on your next inhale, come on up, high lunge. Tuck your tailbone underneath you, bend deep into that left knee. Reach the fingertips towards the ceiling. Pull your right hip forward, left hip back. You want both hips facing the front. Good, one more deep breath. And on your inhale, warrior two, opening up. Remember, we're pulling this left knee open. So here's another view. If this left knee is turned in, I want you to pull that knee open. So hopefully that helped. Good. Opening up, breathe. Keep bending into that front knee. Drop your shoulders. Inhale, reverse your warrior back hand to back thigh. <clears throat> Go one more deep breath and exhale, extended side angle. So your choice here, maybe you're going for the partial bind. You want to wrap your fingertips on the inside of that left thigh. But what's most important here is that you are dropping the hips. Good. Maybe you're going for that full bind, whatever your choice is, doesn't matter. One more deep breath. And on your exhale, let's go ahead and rotate all 10 toes, standing wide leg, forward fold. Go ahead and come up. Interlace all 10 fingers behind the back, draw the knuckles towards the floor, lift the chest. Exhale. Standing wide leg, forward fold with the chest expansion. Remember the toes are slightly turned in towards one another. Let those knuckles just float over the head. Breathe. 
Remember, we're breathing through the nose, controlling our breath. Don't let it control you. And slowly release the hands. Good, inhale, come up halfway. Bend your knees, come up all the way. Bring your hands to heart center as we move side to side. Let's start with the right, sink down low, send those hips back. You're bending deep into that one side. Good. Breathe. Keep your back nice and straight. Lift your chest. Good. Breathe. Two more. Last one over on this side. Good. Forward fold. Release that low back. I'm burning a little bit from that. Let your chest just fall forward. Pull your shoulders away from the ears. And then when you're ready, bend your knees. Come on up. Let's go ahead and turn the heels in, toes out. Good. And then just press your hands to your thighs and then press your knees or the outside of your thighs to the back wall. So you're just opening up here. Really, really nice stretch on the inside of the thighs. Maybe rock the hips side to side ever so slightly. Good, shifting them. Maybe moving a little bit more now once you're comfortable with this posture. And then when you're ready, slowly come on up. And if you would like to challenge yourself, let's come up on to the toes. You're gonna hold yourself here. Lift the chest, stand up tall, lift those heels. Maybe hands to heart center. You've got this and exhale, wide leg forward fold. Great job, you guys. Let's walk your hands over to the right foot. Good. And then over to the left. And then back through center. Bend your knees with a flat back, come on up. And let's heel toe those feet back together. All right, so we're gonna come into Eagle Pose. <clears throat> I'll walk you guys through this. So, we're gonna start by putting all of the pressure into your right foot. Okay, so your left knee is bent. You're gonna start by taking a bend into your right knee. You're gonna take your left leg and you're gonna wrap it around your right as much as you can. So if you can come into a full wrap, that means your left toes are wrapped around your right calf. You're gonna take your right arm and wrap it underneath your left, bring the palms together. Okay, let's try that one more time. I just wanna make sure everybody gets it. So you're gonna bend into the right knee, left leg comes up and over, wrap your legs the best that you can. So left leg over right, now your right arm is gonna come underneath your left and you're gonna to try to bring the hands together. If you can't do that, do the best you can. Now lift the elbows, stand up straight, like your back up is up against a wall. Holding here, breathe. Now I want you to crunch, bring your elbows to your knees. And then from here, I want you to send your left leg straight back and extend your fingertips forward. Just like you're in warrior three, bringing your body into the shape of a T, Lift that left leg, use that hamstring, and on your exhale, standing splits. Great job. Breathe. 
exhale forward fold my right hip is on fire good inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold good inhale come on up you guys ready to switch all right so pressure into your left foot bend the left knee take the right leg wrap it all the way around as much as you can square the hips back towards the front of the room this time your left arm comes underneath palms come together and then lift the elbows so they're the same height as your shoulders holding here sit up tall like your back's against a wall and then crunch your elbows to your knees crunch 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 and then start to extend your body into the shape of a t keep the hand eagle arms lift that right leg one more breath exhale standing split lift that right leg you got it guys and exhale good downward facing dog inhale high plank move through your last yoga push-up inhale up dog exhale down dog great job inhale your right leg high exhale right knee to right wrist crease this is gonna feel real nice we just worked those hips a lot so now we're going to take some time and lengthen those those hair the, those tight hips that you've just created <clears throat> and then when you're ready you can start to walk your elbows down and if that's too far if that's too much for you just Maybe stay lifted, maybe stay on your hands, but sometimes it's a little bit easier to come down to the elbows. What's important though, is you're not leaning off to the right. You're keeping your hips squared to the mat. So think of both of your hip points as headlights and they're pointing down towards your mat. Good. So we're gonna be here for a minute. So I really want you to get comfortable. So take your time, maybe you're slowly working your forehead down, and maybe you're still on your elbows, but you really wanna rest your head, so stack your fists, and then just rest your forehead. Another thing I want you to do is just relax your shoulders. Relax your neck. Let your head become really, really heavy and close your eyes. Breathe into that tightness in your hip. Relax your chest, your lips, your jaw. Just let everything go here. Breathe. Nice job, you guys. Take time for yourself. And just a few more breaths. <clears throat> and slowly begin to lift your forehead if it's rested maybe come up onto your elbows if you're not already and then begin to plant your palms tuck your back toe let's come into a three-legged down dog <clears throat> just go ahead and start to shake out that right leg i like to circle my knee towards the floor just getting some blood and circulation back into that hip. And then downward facing dog. Good. 
Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, left knee, left wrist. Untuck that right toe, take a deep breath in. And slowly at your own pace, just begin to make your way forward. Let your head just rest again. If maybe stacking your fists feels good to you, go ahead and do that. Again, try not to let your hips fall off to the side. That's not the stretch. You want your hips squared with the mat. And then slowly begin to soften your fists, soften your neck. Soften your shoulders. Take any tension out of your forehead and your jaw. Softening the lips, the tongue. Really just let the shoulders go. Just let your body hang here. Let your body fold. Continue to keep bringing in those deep belly breaths through your nose, out your nose. This will help deepen your stretch. And again, be very gentle. You don't want to overstretch. So if something hurts or becomes uncomfortable, just back out of a, a little bit until you feel like you're in a comfortable space. Good. Nice job, you guys. Just a few more breaths here. And slowly begin to lift the head, plant the palms. Take your time here, there's no rush. Tuck that back toe. Three-legged down dog or just shake out that leg. Get some circulation going. And then downward facing dog, great job. Inhale, come on forward. Let's drop your knees, bring them as wide as your mat, bring your big toes to touch behind you, and then sink your hips back towards your heels for child's pose. If you'd like to give your shoulders a little bit of a rest, you can maybe turn one cheek and just let the shoulders of the arms fold onto the mat. And then if you've turned a cheek, go ahead and turn to the other side. Just honoring that balance. And then slowly plant the palms. We're going to keep the knees wide. So you're just going to press your up, yourself up just like this. You're going to take your right arm and slide it all the way under and then rest your right ear. Take that left arm, can reach towards the top of the mat, or you can wrap it around your low back, tucking it into that right hip crease. Child's pose with a twist. Gentle twist in that spine, opening up through the shoulder here. Feel free to close your eyes and just notice what's going on inside the body. Notice how you're feeling. Taking a mental scan, noticing how you're feeling now compared to when you started class. Good, one more deep breath. And then slowly plant that left hand, come on up. And let's switch, let's send your left arm under. 
same thing with that right hand. Whatever you did on the other side, do the same thing here. Honoring that balance. Feeling that gentle twist in the spine, that stretch in the shoulders. Just letting yourself be, close your eyes. Deep breaths into the belly. One more deep breath here. And slowly begin to lift your chest, lift your head. Um, let's come into a seated position. We are going to crisscross applesauce. <coughs> Bring your hands to your knees, lift your chest. On your inhale, reach the arms up over the head. And on your exhale, fold forward. Just letting yourself rest here. It's warm today, so hopefully you guys were able to get deeper into some of these postures than you normally are able to. It's kind of fun, to, as you stick with yoga, it's kind of fun to see how your practice progresses. So just let that head make rest and make sure both hips are glued to the mat. And on your inhale, slowly begin to come up. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and switch out the legs. Now the opposite legs in front. Inhale, arms up and over the head. Exhale as you begin to hinge forward. Again, make sure both sits bones are grounded. You're going to notice that one, probably on this side, is going to want to pop up a little bit more than the other just because you're probably not used to crossing your legs this direction. So I really want you to let go here. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, soften. Just relax. Feel yourself go a little bit deeper. Deep breaths into the belly. Two more breaths here. And when you're ready, slowly lifting your head, your chest, and let's roll all the way onto your backs. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Good. Rocking side to side. And then we're going to come into happy baby pose. So we're going to bend the knees, bring the feet up towards the ceiling. You're going to reach through the legs and grab the outsides of your feet. And then if you notice your hips are lifted, I want you to press the hips down and then pull the feet and the tops of the thighs down towards the floor beside you. Good, so maybe kick the feet up. So kick the heels up a little bit, open them up, and then pull the tailbone down, pull the thighs down. If this is too challenging for you, maybe grab your ankles and then pull the tops of the thighs down. Sometimes this feels a little bit better, even if you can reach the outsides of your feet. So maybe give it a try. And as you're doing that, pull the legs towards your face Good. and slowly release coming into supine butterfly left hand to your heart right hand to your belly close the eyes 
Feel the body soft and easy, your breath. Just let it go. Let it return to your normal state. Feel your shoulders just soften. Feel the support of the earth beneath you. Just breathe. When you're ready, gently close, place your hands on your knees and close them like a book. Let's cross your right leg over your left and then let the legs fall over to the left. So right leg over and then let the legs fall over to the left. Reach your right arm out to the side. And take your gaze over towards those right fingertips if that feels comfortable. If not, you can just gaze up towards the ceiling. And slowly come through center, maybe center your hips on the mat, neutralize those hips. Take your left leg, cross it over, and then let those legs fall over to the right. Take your left arm out. Big deep breath. And as you exhale, just let everything soften, let everything go. Two more breaths. And slowly coming back through center. Center those hips, pull your knees in, roll yourself into a teeny tiny ball. Rock side to side. Take a deep inhale. And on your exhale, release all four limbs to the mat. Allowing yourself just to completely let go here. For these next few minutes. Allow yourself to completely soften. Let your feet fall out. Let your legs relax. Let the fingertips, the wrists, the hips, the chest, the shoulders, the neck. Soften the face. Shavasana. And slowly begin to deepen your breath. And start to bring some movement back into your fingers and your toes. Maybe rolling your wrists and your ankles. 
planting your feet and tucking those hips and rolling off to your favorite side. And we'll stay here for a few breaths. Slowly, when you're ready, using this top hand to press you up to an easy seated position. Bringing your hands to heart center is a sign of gratitude. Thanking yourself for showing up today. Sometimes that's the hardest thing to do. But no matter what, you always feel better after. Doesn't matter how you come to your mat. If you're feeling great, lots of energy. Now you're feeling calm, relaxed, centered. Or maybe you came upset or frustrated. Hopefully you're feeling better today. Wherever you are, thank you for showing up. A light in me honors the light in you. Smile today. Namaste. Great job, you guys. We're gonna move to one day a week starting next week. We'll let you know what times, uh, we'll work that out and we'll let you guys know, okay? All right, take care. Thank you. You're welcome, bye guys.